previously on Latin Farm. Right, okay. So, let's go into the field, and I have a story to tell. As you will already know, we had a major combine harvester fire, and it took the rest of the crop with it, so there's absolutely nothing left in the field. We had already harvested quite a bit, so that stopped the fire from spreading into the trees or into the yard down here, so it could have been much worse. For example, that barn there, that's got wooden cladding, so that could have uh, burnt quite nicely. But yes, we had already sold a full load, and we'd harvested quite a bit of the crop, and it, it was actually inside the combine as grain. Um, obviously, the, the straw had been chopped, so that had helped the situation a bit as well. Uh, but yeah, it's a write-off along with any grain which is inside it. It was pretty full at the time. I think it was about 60 or 70% full. So that's a waste. That's gone, um, along with anything that hadn't been harvested. But what makes it worse is Dennis is not speaking to us. And when I say that, it's not like we're going over to his pub and he's just ignoring us. He is actually uh, missing. I have no idea where he is. I've been going over to that field over there for the last three days since it happened, or the last two days. And he's not done anything to it. He's not been there. He's not done a thing. I've been to the pub. That's just shut. It's just locked up. So I, I really don't know what the situation is here. He's just... Basically, given us a common harvester to use for the day, allowed it to burn out because obviously there was something wrong with it, and now he's just disappeared off the face of the earth. So I don't know if he has insurance for it or what. My guess is he doesn't. Um, we didn't have insurance for the crop, so that's gone down the drain. And uh, yeah, it's cost us £700 in rent for the house. That's fine, though. That was expected. And we've also spent a few pounds on food over the last few days. So really, it could have come off worse. It could have come off much worse. But my biggest problem now is we have this burnt out combine in the middle of the field. And I can't really move it because it's not ours. I have nothing to move it with. And uh, if Dennis does have insurance, they're going to want to inspect it. So yeah, that is the situation. The field needs to be ploughed, but we can't do. Or I suppose we could do, but we would have to leave that area over there. And it would make recovery much more difficult if it was ploughed. So I think, really, in fairness, we'll have to leave it stubble. So, there you go. That's it. Now, the thing you'll be very pleased about is our tractor is fine. I managed to get it out of the field in time. It's just here, along with the crop that it had in it. So it's 23% full, which is just over a 1,000 litres. And we can now go and sell it. The reason why I haven't sold it yet is because it's just been waiting. We've been super busy trying to uh, sort things out, trying to get hold of Dennis and all that, with no luck. Even Peter Wood has been helping us trying to get hold of Dennis, because he knows him quite well. But uh, no response. He does have a phone, but he doesn't answer that either. So we're in a bit of an unusual situation. I don't know what to do. <laughs> so we're just going to have to... Uh, wait I suppose and see if he does turn up at some point anyway let's sell this let's get some money in the money which we could actually get in uh, no not that place it's all the way up here so yeah we actually need to pop by uh, Peter Wood's place again my biggest problem is food um, we're gonna have to buy it from somewhere else because obviously I can't get it from the pub it's shut it's completely shut so I don't know we need food we might have to go to the village shop. But first, let's see if we can make a few hundred pounds, that'd be good. Okay. 884 pounds, nice. Well, I think we have come off fairly lightly. 
It could have been far worse, but any fire is bad. Oh, Dennis's place. Unbelievable. Actually, what I might do is just try once more, but I'm not holding out too much hope. Mm-hmm. We'll give him a minute. Let's have a wander about. No sign of life, that's for sure. No. He could be in there, he might be hiding, but um, I have a suspicion that he has gone away somewhere. Let's just hope he comes back soon. Right, over to Peter Woods, no more messing around with this clown. Off we go. I suppose we'll have to put the trailer back as well. For the time being, I'll just put it over here. This being the silage pits, which actually hasn't been used yet. I wonder if he's going to do any silage. As far as I'm aware, he only has one grass field at this place, but uh, yep, there could be more. Okay. No luck finding Dennis then. Where is the old fool? If you're interested, I have the old windrower, which needs to be restored. Please, can you do it for me? Well, at least that's a good way of making money. And yeah, £500 for that sounds pretty decent to me. Yes, we can. Let's go and pick it up. So, yeah, we get to use our tractor again. It's usually used just as a get-about vehicle. Um, but if we can... If we can actually do grass work with this. So we cut it, we row it, we need a tether as well. But, yeah, all that sort of stuff, it would be brilliant. What's this, rush hour? The traffic lights further up the road must have changed. Really slow. Right, uh, there it is. Now it's actually a bit rusty at the moment, but as far as I'm aware, we're allowed to paint it any colour. So I think I'm going to go for red because it will suit our tractor. My guess is it's going to be used on our tractor because I don't think he even has any more tractors like this. This was most likely his last one. Uh, we don't need to put the PTO shaft on, but it would mean carrying it on here otherwise. So there we go. Look at that. Right, let's go and paint it. Let's go and do a bit of... Whoa, look at those trees. A bit of restoration work. Wow. We put those trees in by hand. They're fast-growing trees, so look at the size of them. I reckon he was trying to do like a, a wind break. Because they're, they're really dense and it creates a really good screen. So it keeps the wind off the farm over here. Yeah, that's good. Very pleased with that. Alright, so we need to go over to a workshop. I'm not really too sure which is the best shed for this, but I do have an idea. Um, and it's where we actually used to store the mower. So if we go back there, I reckon that would be a good place to do the painting. The last thing I want to do is cover his barn floor in paint. If we do it in a workshoppy area, it won't really matter. Mm, is that a workshop? I don't know. He's got all these buildings here which are really derelict. It's so nice to have them up and running. Yeah, we'll do it here. So, I need to uh, go and get some paint. He has given it to us, so let's just go and grab it. And a brush, yes, we need a brush. Okay. So, I'm going to just... Uh, start here. It should look really good. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is rust unless somebody's primed it or something. So I'm going to get to work doing a bit of painting. Right, well I've been going for about an hour or so I think and you can see that it is getting better. Um, <laughs> it needs quite a bit more work um, but uh, yeah, it, the red colour is coming through. It's all very patchy um, but yeah, if you give me about I don't know, half an hour more. I'm sure I can get it almost perfect. Hardest thing has been going around these decals. Where it says Pottinger and stuff. Been doing it with a really fine brush. And uh, yeah, if I keep going at it at this pace, it should come out fairly well. I mean, there's probably still going to be some imperfections later. But hopefully, it'll be uh, at least half decent. 
Is it a good colour match? It's very similar, but it might not be perfect. Anyway, yes. See you in a minute. Or see you in half an hour, actually. Oh, right, it's taken way longer than expected, but here we go. Are you ready? This has taken a lot of concentration, not to get it on the tyres, and not to get it on the decals and stuff. So there it is. The restored Windrower. What do you think? Obviously, I couldn't get in all the very tight places around the decals, but I think I've done alright. I kept it off the tyres as well. Kept it off the rubber. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's done. It's going to prolong its life anyway, and it all seems to work fine. The PTO engages properly. Well, the tractor's PTO <laughs> engages properly, but yeah, the gearbox on the machine works fine. Or at least the drive shaft, whatever it has. I'm not quite sure how it works, actually. Yeah, let's go through to something in here. Anyway, but you can see that it does all work. Let's just lift it up. So what do you think? Do you like it? I hope you do, because it's taken a lot of work. If you don't know, fair enough. Right, okay, so I'm going to go and show Peter Wood. And hopefully he's going to pay us for the work. I can actually bring it to his door. Look at this. Brilliant. There we go. Yeah, I think the shade is slightly different to the tractor. It's much brighter. Hmm, okay. Wow. Now, where did I put my sunglasses? Anyway, thank you for that. Here's your £500. Oh, yes, I think it got the approval. Okay, so I'm going to uh, put it away. I suppose he's going to want it undercover because what's the point in painting it if you're going to leave it out? I'll put it in. I'll probably put it in the shed where we painted it actually. Should be right over here. Yeah, it should be fine there. Still no sign of Dennis. I'm uh, beginning to worry because it's been. Well, it's, this is the third day and he's still not here. So I, I don't know what to do. Okay, so I think the best thing to do is to go back over to Peter Wood and we will uh, just go and ask him what we should do now. Well, if you don't mind, fill number three needs to be cut. Please feel free to use my tractor or your tractor if you'd like to. Oh, yes, that sounds good. Uh, he didn't mention any money, but I suppose, yeah, he doesn't need to. He just paid £500 and he paid for the paint, so it sounds like a good deal to me. Right. So obviously we keep our mower over to our house because, well, we don't want to cluster up his yard too much. We need to stay friends with Peter Wood because he he's a good chap. He really does help us. So the last thing we want to do is take advantage or annoy him. So that's why we keep it at home. The neighbours over here have said a few things about it being there. They said it was a bit of an eyesore, but honestly, it's only a mower, so it can't be that bad, can it? Well, I'll show you it. It's, it's like a sculpture. It's our garden ornament. Here it is, look. The neighbour, it was this neighbour here. The one with that posing car who was jealous of our tractor. I mean, why would you complain about this? It doesn't look that bad at all. Decent looking thing. Right. Let's pick it up. Yeah, there's a bit of paint on it. I did start painting this in my own time, uh, I think it was yesterday. Yeah, so if I ever do finish it, it should look like the Pottinger. There's some paint kicking about. Come on! Yeah, I'll show you. I've only done a few bits here and there. Mainly the rusty spots. I've not done any of the actual finger bar. It's still really rusty. So, yeah. Over to field three. We'll start cutting, hopefully we can cut it all today. And then, I don't know what we're going to do, might be rowing it up with that newly painted Windrow. Or, he might just be uh, using his own machinery. It could be hay, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, he said can we cut it, so we'll definitely cut it. This tractor will need diesel at some point, but yeah, currently it's still three quarters full. So here we are. It looks like it has grown nicely. And we did spread the manure on here, so it should be really thick and lush. Actually, I think I've made it look worse as mow, you know. It doesn't look as good. I should have left it as rust. 
Mustn't forget to put the PTO on. There we go. Right, so this should go well. It all works all right. It's all reciprocating. Okay. Off we go. I'm going to have to come back on myself as well so that we can cut the bit which we're currently driving on. Need to make the most of the field. And at least now it's much easier to see where the trees are. I'm amazed how quickly they've grown. If we'd put a whole field of trees in, this would be a dense forest now. drinking a bottle of water, just having to refill the water bottle which we had from Dennis before, uh, from the tap at home. <laughs> so yeah, we do still have water, but it's not like mineral water. Anyway, that's a good enough break. Let's continue. We've almost finished. Just got to see this middle piece and then obviously we've got to go around the headland once, uh, but only on that side over there, and that side over there is alright. Um, I don't want to go right to the edge in some sections because it's just really tall weeds and uh, yeah, we don't want to be cutting weeds because it's just not good quality so yeah, this area over here is alright. But i got to say, it's a very good tractor, very good mower. It seems to be able to tackle this job with ease. Really nice setup. Although I've missed a bit. It doesn't actually take that long to do this either, because it's not a small field, but yeah, it's uh, only about 10 to 15 minutes to do a whole lot, which in my opinion is fairly fast. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> we're just finishing off here, uh, still waiting for Dennis, he's still not turned up, I don't think he's going to. What do we do? What do we do if he doesn't turn up? I'm just going to have to get somebody to come and get that combine out of the field and uh, put in his yard, I suppose. Because we can't scrap it, because that's stealing. But it's in my field, and I really don't want it there. If he can't be bothered to answer the phone or anything, then it's not really our fault. We've tried our best to do everything. Unless he's just so sad that his combine burns out. He could be. He has another one though, he has the case con my officer too. Okay, the final piece here. Get right up to the tree. And not into the tree. And then, yeah, starting from that clump of trees that we planted over here, that's where we need to go back that way over to the gate. So it's not a huge amount. Just this here. It's fairly decent grass. You can see there are some weeds in here, which are definitely unwanted. Yeah, I don't want to get all those. But overall, that has been a success. No fires today, thankfully. Good. Right. So we'll fold it up. 
and we'll take it over to the yard. In fact, if he's got any paint left, I, I might ask him if we can finish painting this because it doesn't look very good half done. Amazingly, it is a very similar shade, I would say, to the Pottinger. I'm not sure what colour code I had, but it was uh, enamel stuff designed for machinery. Uh, I'll put it in here for the time being. But I think we'll be taking it home again very soon. Right, here's a good test. Let's see if it is the same colour. We might have the same paint. Uh, yeah. Uh, this might be a bit darker. Not sure. That does look good though. Right, uh, yes, we'll, uh, we'll just drop that off and fold it. I'll have to take the PTO off. And we'll go and tell Peter Wood that we've done the job. Great, we'll be fermenting that grass in the silage pit behind you. So there we go. No extra payment for that, but still, uh, not bad. Not bad at all, what we've made today. £500 for doing all of that. So, we're going to leave it there. Obviously, that's still sitting there. Sorry, sight. Ah, what can you do? Let's hope there's a bit more progress tomorrow. Anyway, let's go home. Yeah, right on mower got stolen too. No, not heard anything about that. Spoke to Peter Wood about that yesterday. He said there's nothing. He said the police have been doing a really good job though. But yeah, no progress as such because it <laughs> middle of the night, not a very big machine, so obviously stolen and taken away somewhere. It's not going as well as it could be over on Letton Farm. Let's hope things change in the future. One thing though is the neighbour will be happy because we've taken our garden ornament away. Although when it's painted we'll be bringing it back and putting it on full display here. Just to annoy them. They're alright. Just them. Right. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.